for the next three weeks, we have my parents visiting on Koh Samui. There is plenty in this amazing, enormous island to keep us busy for three weeks. The first week we spent in Lamai Beach. Lamai Beach, nestled along the southeastern coast of Koh Samui, is the second largest beach on the island. Known for soft white sand and calm waters, it's generally less crowded than the beaches to the north and has a more laid-back local feel, though there's still plenty to keep you entertained both day and night. One of the more popular attractions in this area is Hin Ta Hin Yai, also known as Grandfather and Grandmother Rocks. These two large rock formations are located at the southern end of Lamai Beach and are said to resemble male and female genitalia. Eh, maybe. If you're looking for a relaxing and enjoyable beach vacation, the Lamai Beach area of Koh Samui is a great option and it's always our favorite. Even when the weather's less than perfect. Days like this are why we rent a comfortable room. Though it's usually more like this. Well, that's all for Lamai. We're gonna leave this local chap to finish his lunch while we head about 30 minutes north to continue our tour. This week we're staying on Chawang Beach. Chawang Beach has been called the crown jewel of Koh Samui. It's more lively than Lamai with several large beach clubs right along the water, but boasts the same calm waters and stunning views. It's perfect for those who want fun both in the Thai sun and after dark as well. What are you doing, Katie? <laughs> just find goats in the back of a taxi cab. There's just no end to the surprises you'll find wandering around Chawang, and playing with baby goats is way more our style than hitting the nightclubs. And today we are taking a tour around the island, starting with the Big Buddha. Can't miss that. There used to be a bunch of signs up about taking hats off and shoes off and everything, but now they just have this, and up top everybody's walking around with shoes on and whatnot, so not sure what's up with that. I asked Google's new AI Gemini to create us an introduction for a tour group from the deep south of the U.S., and this is what it came up with. Hey y'all, buckle up, because this giant gold fella up here is quite the sight. This here's the Big Buddha, or Wat Pra Yai in Thai. It's a true landmark for Koh Samui, just like maybe a giant roadside Jesus statue back home, but way older and much more blinged out. Now, this is a Buddha temple so let's show some respect we'll take off our shoes before climbing the stairs for a closer look and let me tell you the view from up there is something else see how this boot is sitting with one hand on his knee palm up that pose called the moral posture means he's conquered temptation and reached enlightenment pretty cool huh he's also huge standing taller than a two-story house at over 40 feet built way back in the 70s it's become a must-see for folks visiting the island you can spot it from miles around and even from airplanes so uh yeah that just happened. Next up, Plai Lam Temple Complex. Just a few minutes down the road lies Wat Plai Lam. This is the Plai Lam Temple Complex. This stunning Buddhist temple sports a unique design blending Chinese and Thai traditions. The entire complex is adorned with colorful murals and intricate details designed by a famous Thai artist. And this cat's really grateful for the shade it provides. enormous catfish in there and the folks are captivated. Katie doesn't have a microphone, but if she did, she'd say, Wow, the detail in this place is incredible. The temple is situated on a peaceful lake, surrounded by trees and vibrantly ornate buildings. In the center stands the main attraction, a towering white statue with 18 arms. This isn't your typical Buddha depiction. It's actually Guan Jin, the Chinese goddess of mercy, a symbol of compassion and kindness. Unlike this cat, who is a symbol of give me food or leave me alone. There's also a bunch of chickens running everywhere, so you know Katie loves it here. What are you looking at, fool? While it's a beautiful spot for visitors, Wat Pai Lam is also a living temple where local Buddhists come to pray and practice their faith. The next step on our tour of Samui is going to be Crystal Bay, where hopefully we can get some snorkeling in because the weather today has been absolutely wonderful so far. But first, a very important break. They have the best frogs. This is like the nicest Amazon we've been in. This place is crazy. They just keep getting bigger and nicer.
located just north of Lamai Beach. Crystal Bay is a very popular place to come and spend your afternoon in the water. Grab some lunch and then we will be down in there doing some snorkeling. This is Crystal Bay. It's supposed to be some of the best snorkeling around Costa Samoa. Food is pretty good at Silver Beach Resort. Good for beach club food. I can't wait to see this water. Every time we come, we're like, oh, we should go there, we should go there. Finally, we're here. There's a big dark cloud, so we better get in the water now before the sun goes away. Just got to the Nam Yang, Nam Song, Nam something, Nam Wang waterfall. It's an easy walk to it. Some of the waterfalls are quite a bit of a hike. We don't feel like hiking. <laughs> this one's a nice, easy walk. It is an important site in Koh Samui because kings in Char Kri Dynasty have visited the place several times. And now we're here. <laughs> Oh, wow, it's beautiful. Another one, look at that guy. Not sure what kind of lizards they are, but they are really beautiful. This the tree lizards with the waddle. It's only scary. one waddle. Well, it's only one waddle. The other was a female, he was trying to attack him. And there was a guy, and apparently he jumped from one tree to the other and scared the bejesus out of the guy. Ah, you said it twice, just say it once more, come on. The lizard, not the guy. He yeah. didn't jump from one tree. <laughs> Biggest swing in jungle history. That is a wrap on our little island tour of Samui. What do you think about our little island of Samui? Oh man, it just keeps taking us better and better places. It's beautiful. What do you think of it? I want to live here, so uh, that's what I think of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now we know we'll come to visit. We're gonna go back to Chawang, probably do a little bit of beach time there, definitely some more eating, and then we will head off to Fisherman's Village slash Boput for next week. Catch you then. We'll be spending the final week of our visit along Boput Beach in Fisherman's Village. This postcard perfect area of Coast Samui was once a bustling hub for local fishermen. Today, it offers a delightful blend of history and indulgence, from charming vendors housed in wooden shop houses to eateries offering all manner of delicious Thai cuisine. We're splurging a bit and staying at the Holiday Inn Resort Boput, located right on the beach and in the middle of it all. From the white sand beach to the walking street market, Fisherman's Village is a kaleidoscope of sights, smells, and an incredible experience and the perfect culmination of our three-week visit. We're already excited for the next one. Keep drinking this coffee. Uh, Leave the, the thumbs, thumbs up and subscribe. subscribe. Oh, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>